Hello, and welcome to a tour of the latest SwitchFox release, SwitchFox 6.2. SwitchFox is now capitalizing on the power of Asterisk 13 to bring several new and exciting features. SwitchFox 6.2 focuses on the customer experience with new multimedia chat and screen sharing, a new wallboard for contact centers, and advanced queue call control, as well as a few other minor features and bug fixes. SwitchFox now includes guided tours that can help you navigate through the setup and new features. Let's take a closer look at SwitchFox 6.2 and show you how these new features work. SwitchVox 6.2 brings multimedia chat to the switchboard. Multimedia chat allows you to instant message, video chat, and screen share with external customers, clients, and business partners. Now you can have more dynamic conversations to provide better customer service and more easily solve customer problems. Here's how it works. In the directory widget on the switchboard, you'll find an option at the top called Start a Guest Chat. When this is clicked, a chat panel opens at the bottom of the screen with a link. This link can be sent to anyone outside of SwitchBox that uses the Google Chrome browser. Just copy and paste the link in an email, or you can give them the link that it provides. If you send the entire link, the customer will be able to enter the media session without logging in. If you give them just the standard multimedia chat link as shown, you will need to give them the login code, which is the last five digits of the original link. Once the external contact clicks the provided link or logs in, they can initiate a video chat or screen share. When the contact initiates a video chat or screen share, the SwitchFox user will be notified in the chat panel. Click yes to join the session. Now the SwitchFox user enters the guest chat session and can now show their video feed or their screen. Note, users must download and install the SwitchVox screen sharing for switchboard extension for Chrome to use the screen sharing feature. It's very common for contact centers to have large monitors mounted on the contact center floor to help managers and employees view real-time statistics and activity for their queues. For many years, SwitchFox has provided the real-time queue data that contact center supervisors need, but not in a way that is ideal for this type of application. SwitchFox now includes a wallboard widget that enlarges key call center data for easy viewing on the contact center floor. The wallboard widget includes number of calls waiting and the max wait time, the login status of the queue agents and how many are busy, the number of calls taken, missed, and abandoned, and the average wait time. Notifications can be set up to alert supervisors if wait time thresholds have been exceeded. To give access to the wallboard widget to users, you'll need to make sure the user has been granted the overview view in the queue permission screen. Once they have permissions, the user will have access to the widget in the layout editor under the Add Widget dropdown menu. It's important for contact center supervisors to have the ability to proactively solve excessive wait time issues or to ensure that top agents receive important or challenging calls. In the queue calls waiting widget, SwitchFox now gives contact center supervisors and managers the ability to move calls to the top of the queue, send the call to a specific agent, or answer the call themselves. The queue call control permission in SwitchFox offers a SwitchFox extension various controls over what happens with calls that are waiting in the queue. You can always log yourself out, but with queue call control, you can log others out. So, if you see someone can't take calls but forgot to log out, you can fix that problem. The move to top assignment moves the call to the top of the queue and you can see it in this ring all queue. Now, National Comedy Theater is an active call. and I see Alicia log back in. The Assign to Member option ensures that the next time Alicia is available to take a call, she will receive this specific caller. You can also assign a call to yourself, which maintains the call association with this queue. And you can always return a call to a normal assignment so it is answered in the order it was received. Lastly, I'm going to log myself out of the queue to demonstrate the Answer Now option. It's important to remember that Answer Now removes the call from the queue when it sends it to your phone. And even if you're not a member of this queue or you're a member who's not logged in, you can use Answer Now and your phone will ring to connect the call. SwitchFox now includes guided tours to help users get started with the features and functionality inside SwitchFox. In the user portal, you will see the guided tours. The guided tours will show the user how to set up that particular feature and take them to the appropriate pages. We will be adding many more guided tours to SwitchFox with future releases. 
Here's a list of the other changes with Switchbox 6.2. Admins can manage rapid dial lists and assign those lists to phone users. All logs and reports can now be exported to XLS, XML, or charted as appropriate, as well as several caller ID upgrades. Thank you for watching this tour of our newest release, Switchbox 6.2.